Hi folks, Austin Silver Coins Pro, 512-573-4926. I'd like to continue my series on the hunts. I mean, they're some of the most fascinating gentlemen I've ever done research on. And it was well worth the journey. So, but anyway, this is going to be the final video on them, but, you know, the end of it has a very good lesson to it. And uh, what finally ended up happening is, uh, you know, they were trying to manipulate the market. They were trying to buy, get groups to buy. They were doing anything they could to buy to drive the price up. But when they were running short on cash at certain times, they would go, you know, margin a bunch of it. Well, that's ended up being what got them was you know going short when silver price when the silver price was thirty five dollars an ounce they had so much of a short on it they could never recover from it because eventually the price was going to go down to ten dollars but they they didn't anticipate that at the time that they were buying they were just buy 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 and it did go up to fifty dollars an ounce but that was short lived because the government stepped in and made some moves, but what ended up happening is they were running short on cash and the price went down and so their margin call was $10 million a day and they could only withstand that for so, you know, even the richest men in the world can only stand $10 million a day for a certain period of time. And uh, finally, uh, Herbert and Bunker finally called their broker and said, shut it down. That was their exact words, you know, we can't do it anymore. They could not meet their $135 million margin call. Well, the Fed stepped in because they feared financial disaster. They didn't really know how much silver was out there in possession of private individuals or who had what, and, and the government even tried to manipulate several ways back and forth that you could only control, private individuals could only control a certain amount of silver. That's the way the gold started, and then it finally got to where you couldn't own any gold at all as a private individual or buy any at all. But anyway, that's what happened to the silver. And uh, in 1988, Bunker ended up filing for personal bankruptcy. Can you believe this? This guy was at one time the richest private individual in the free world. And he filed for personal bankruptcy because of his manipulation of the silver market. And, you know, he never let up, but these guys always have a way of mouncing back, you know. In 89, he walked out of that bankruptcy with a net worth of 5 to $10 million, which to him is about like me having a 20 spot in my pocket. But anyway, these guys are just fascinating the way they throw money around and played the market. But it ended up, and there is a moral to this story. And the moral is, don't ever go short on your precious metal. And always make your investments in gold and silver. You know, it's real money. It's God's money. It's always been worth something, and it always will be worth something. You know, the paper money we have today, the way the printing presses are going, how do you know how much a dollar's worth? I don't think even they know what a dollar's worth. So therefore, you got to keep in mind, gold and silver is always going to have value to it. That's the way currency started. That's the way it's always going to end up. But don't do like the Hans did. Take possession of your silver. We don't have that kind of money to be throwing around. But the moral to me is take possession of your silver like I do every month. I get, a, I get silver in the mail, put it in my pocket, I put it in my collection, and I'm creating wealth, and I'm having fun doing it, and I'm showing other people how to do it, and how to have fun, and how to create a tremendous amount of money 
for their monthly income and it's with a product that has value. Numismatic, Mint State 70, gold and silver coins from all over the world. And so I'll end with this. You know, never go short on any of your silver because it's a game and what they were doing was playing a game but it's a game even the richest men in the world can lose at and that's what I learned about that but I can't lose I've got mine in my pocket or in my safe I'm not gonna lose I'm building something of value every month and I'm helping other people do it and we're having fun doing it so please give me a call Austin Silver Coins Pro let me show you how to create wealth I mean, and have fun doing it. And at the end of the day, you'll feel a lot more assured rather than having a few 20s in your pocket that you've got some real money in your safe. Don't forget, Austin Silver Coins Pro, 512-573-4926. Talk to you soon.